We pray for Ukraine, O you reign. going my winter sun won't, won't you miss me staying on this side of the sea who in the world what kind of citizens in the world would trust any of you leaders anymore when you swallow up your promise Yeah, give us all the news and then we will protect you. We sign it, we promise here and now we will not harm you. Or anyone who harms you, your country, we will protect you. Yeah, yeah, read it again. Hmm? Your own leader's words, your own country's words for Ukraine. You guys swallow your words just like you swallow those rotten animal people's flesh every day. So, actually, no one should be surprised about your conflicting announcement and your contradictory attitude. It's the injustice that you're trying to drive home, to contaminate the world, people's intellect and intelligence. Nobody will buy it. And if you still talk like that, oh my God. I invite you to go home, hmm? learn from your dog people how to protect others and not to harm in any way. If we are worse than a dog, then we should not call ourselves even human, not to talk about being leaders of humans, we should be leaders of hell. But even hell people, they only punish the bad ones, the guilty ones. Not side with criminals like the Kremlin. This is a bigger criminal than the normal poor criminals that you put in your jail for just maybe killing one or two persons in different situations. Maybe they're forced to do it, or maybe they're crazy, or maybe they're sadistic, or just stealing something, or even taking bribes in a small number. You punished one of the top European Union leaders, hmm? For taking a bribe from somewhere? Well, you know better than I. I'm such a not political person. You know more. This vice president of the EU parliament was taking money from Qatar to influence European decisions in favor of Qatar. Kali was selling Europe's sovereignty to Qatar. And it's called corruption. You will vote on a proposal from the Conference of Presidents for the early termination of the office of our Vice President of the European Parliament, Ms. Eva Kaili. Vote is closed and the vote is carried. It was an overwhelming majority. I think out of 630 people, a single one did not want to strip her of this position. So it's a clear sign that no one in the parliament accepts these kinds of corrupt behavior. No one thinks that she should represent our institution as vice president any longer. But you do worse than that person and you put her in jail, stripped of her title. I don't know what next she has to endure. What you're doing is wanting to bribe Russia, to blackmail the Iranian people by taking their land and offering it on your knees to Russia, admitting, oh, we are wrong, we are wrong, we are sorry, please forgive us, please take this offer. My God, shame on all of you, shame on whoever has such an idea. In that case, why should Ukraine even join NATO? Just give the land to Russia and have whatever peace, yeah? Because both of them want to tear your country apart anyway, want to divide your people. So what's the difference, huh? Plus, who is going to guarantee that your country, Ukraine, it's going to have peace, and that it is only those pieces of land that Russia will want. Nobody keeps 
their promise anyway. Shame on all of you for not protecting the weak and the meek you reign and siding with the mighty, aggressive, evil Kremlin. Shame on you. Shame on all of you. I know I'm in danger saying all this, but I am already in danger. I can't be safe if the world is not safe anyway. Not just that, I'm not safe. No one is really safe if war breaks out somewhere. No one is really safe in the situation of war between Russia and Ukraine. I can't just keep quiet, shut my eyes, pretending that the Iranian people are not suffering, pretending that uh, you have uh, all the intelligence to take care of this war, pretending that you know how to make peace, to protect people, not just Iranians, but European people, the European Union countries are also affected and threatened by the war in Ukraine, now and in the far future or in the near future, who knows? If Russia wins this war, they will feel proud, encouraged, and emboldened to attack other countries. You all know that. I don't need to be a politician to know all this. Children can even tell you. Що зараз агресор переможе, це буде найгірший сценарій для всього людства. Це буде означати, що жодні запобіжники світові не дії. Це буде означати, що кожен, хто має владу, силу і достатньо а, фінансової спроможності, може в цьому світі чинити все, що він захоче. Є країни, які просто недооцінюють дійсно а, загрозу зі сторони Росії. Їм здається, що це далеко від них. Але насправді, коли в світі існує такий потужний терорист, почуватися повністю в безпеці не може ніхто. So if something happens to Europe, who will laugh at your stupid idiot, evil-minded, like-minded thinking, like the Kremlings? You will see what kind of punishment you will have from God in hell. I'm not threatening you. I'm only telling you the truth, the logical truth. Even children can understand it. If it is your country, your own country, would you like that to happen to you? Huh? that any strong muscle guy just comes in, rapes your wife, huh? your daughter, your babies, huh? take away your harvest, destroy all your homes, your villages, your cities, and then you have to give them your own land so that you can join another group who is useless, helpless, weak and cowardly anyway huh would you like that would you like that to happen to your country if the answer is no then stop all this stupid and aggressive ideas stop supporting the aggressors the predators and try to help the weak one the needy one the one who needs help. That's what the world citizens would want to tell you. Thousands from more than 50 different countries were out on the streets demanding for peace in Ukraine and for stricter sanctions to deter Russia.
voicing their opinion. I'm only voicing their protests, and of course, the voice of the Iranian people, who would never agree to this aggressive and robbery idea. Though the Iranian people have nothing to do with me, they're not my relatives. I don't know them. But this, I know, they would protest. And this, I know, the world people also would protest. So you watch it. And the European Union, watch it. The world, watch it. If you support the Kremlin, you will be the next to be molested, to be harassed, to be aggressively occupied and robbed of your land. They will kill your people, kidnap your children, and rape anyone inside, like the way they even openly broadcast, advertise on their own state TV, Russian TV. Yeah. And you support that? You support all this? Wow. Wow. What kind of things do you eat every day? Hmm? Must the devil's feeding, huh? Speaking during his show on Kremlin's RT network, formerly known as Russia Today, host Anton Krasovsky said that Ukrainian children who perceived Russians as occupiers under Soviet rule should be thrown straight into a river with a strong current to drown. Вот прям топить этих детей, топить. Это не прям ваш в метод. Писыне. Это ну, не ваш метод, поэтому вы интеллигентные люди, писатели, фантасты. А это наш метод. Вот прям воспитывать надо Сказал, было. что, так сказать, о москале оккупировали. И сразу прям бросаешь в, в реку с буйным, бурным течением. Вообще для И... этой цели на Руси традиционно использовали розги. Они... Лучше, чем река работали, А я бы, вот там у них есть такая, там каждое, значит, говно называется, у них, так сказать, там такие домики есть куча, э, очень, очень плохих, чудовищных. То есть они же насрали Карпаты, же они их уничтожили на самом деле. То есть Карпаты это отвратительно. А, и там каждая, значит, изба называется Смолякова, Смолякова хата. И вот прям в эту Смолякову хату прямо забивать и сжечь прям вот эти Советский Союз, он был тяжело, конечно, болен. И вот Украина, это была, наверное, одна из самых таких пораженных его точек. А она, наверное, была пораженная точка. Почему? Потому что ее вообще не должно существовать. Украина должна оставаться на карте мира? Я, честно говоря, думаю, что да. Потому что там останется в любом случае большое количество людей, с которыми не хотелось бы жить в одном государстве. Ну, расстреляем. And all of you know that the Kremlin is losing. Why even support them now? Huh? So, conclusion. Just one last word. Stop all this aggression. Passive or open. Where, where are you now? My only one, won't someone tell me if you ever return?